Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a test it out and talk about video. As you can see, my eyes are already finished. That is because I just did this tutorial. So if you guys do want to see that, that will be in the description bar below. So definitely check that out. And before this test it out video starts, be sure to click the subscribe button as well as the bell right next to it so you guys will get notified every time I upload a video and I just want to say thank you to those that have been subscribing I've noticed my channel has grown a little bit here and there and so I just wanted to thank those that have recently subscribed to my channel and are enjoying my tutorials if you guys do want to see more stuff then let me know what you guys want to see next on this channel and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All those are at Tobin MUA. And let's get on to this video. So today's video is going to be a test it out and talk about on a new foundation that I recently purchased. And it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And this is in Desert Beige. This is a medium dark foundation. This is more of a warm tone. So I'm going to be reading you guys the claims of this. This says it has been tested in under seven different light conditions. Um, uh, tested with smartphones, the top smartphones. So I'm guessing like the iPhones um, and like other like really, really good Androids. Then it is with, tested with and without flash. So that's really good. This is a cruelty-free foundation. Wet n Wild is a cruelty-free brand. Um, I have a couple of Wet n Wild products, which I'm going to actually use something else that's from Wet n Wild. So that's really, really funny. This is in Desert Beige. This took me a hot second to figure out my shade. This is more on a warmer tone. Um, this is like right next to, there was one like right above this and um, it was more on the cooler tone I think or it was a little bit lighter. It wasn't cooler but it was a little bit lighter and um, I need a foundation that is like in between like a cool tone and a warm tone because at times I put on foundation and it looks so so yellow on me and so I am in the process of finding a really really good medium cool tone warm tone foundation I don't need something that's super yellow and I don't need something that's super like cool tone um, I need something that's in between so I'm gonna test this one out today see if this is my shade I we will try it out so this is the bottle it's a glass bottle I really do like the bottle of it um, this is my Milani um, conceal and perfect in 09 tan the thing I don't like about the wet and wild already is that they don't have numbers so they just have names so it's a really little bit harder to figure out your shade I feel like um, but the nice thing is is that you can just return it if it's not your match and you know go on to the next shade but yeah that's the only thing I do I'm like kind of sad that they don't have is numbers um, I more so like enjoy numbers than um, than just names but the Milani has a number and a name and if you guys do want me to test out the Milani foundation which I've already used but there's a shade right below this shade um, that I really want to try out if you guys want to see that let me know but back to this bad boy um, I decided to the reason why I'm holding this one up is because I wanted to look at them so as you can see the Milani one is a little bit darker than this one so I'm hoping this one does match my skin um, and yeah, that's enough Lauren Blaine. Now let's get on to the video. Let's open it up. Now a lot of people were saying that this smells like paint. So um it kind of does smell like paint. Okay, the first 
thing I noticed is it's like a little spatula. So I'm guessing they want you to just like dab it on your face. Um, so let's just do that. Oh, wow. Okay, so far I really like the spatula. Now, I like full coverage, so I'm gonna go full coverage with this. I really like this spatula. So I'm just gonna do one more, a little bit on my chin, and then I'm gonna blend this out. And we will see. So, so I'll do one side with a beauty blender and one side with a brush. Well, first off, right off the bat, okay, do you see how yellow this is? So maybe this is a little too yellow for me. First up, wow, right off the bat, look how, like, full coverage that is. Like, you can barely see my beard. Yeah, look how, wow, that's really, really yellow. So now I'm going to go with the brush and see how that works. I definitely feel like maybe the beauty blender is a little bit more, packs on a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, see, okay. This looks so, so yellow. So now I'm gonna have to definitely go back and exchange this probably. Wow, that's really, really yellow. So I'm gonna go in and do the forehead. But I will say I love this spatula thing. Finish, do one side beauty blender. Wow. Look how yellow this is. Well, my first thoughts on this foundation, I'm going to set this now with my Smashbox powder. I'm going to be taking, this is a Lexi large brush. I'm not going to do a concealer only because I don't want, I don't know, I don't feel like, yeah, this is so yellow. And it's not even my lighting too. But I will say coverage wise, it's really, really nice. I'm going to go in with my Stay Matte But Not Flat powder. And this is in Tawny. And I'm just going to pretty much just warm up my face because it needs it. I need to put like powder on it because it looks a little too yellow. So maybe I should have gone in with that. I went in with a shade. I bought a shade and it looked too light. But maybe that was my shade because this shade looks really, really light. Or not light, but yellow. And I'm just trying to help with this. I'm just bronzing up my face pretty much. I'm going to go in with the NYX um, Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm just going to deepen up the contour I love this contour palette so much yeah I'm making it look a lot better now that I'm placing 
contour on. Doesn't look so yellow. But I will say I'm going to definitely be taking this back and getting a shade above this. But for the most part, the like the coverage of it is really, really nice. Yeah, I will say the coverage of this is amazing. Aside from the shade color, I will say the coverage of this looks really, really nice. Um, I can't wait to take photos and see what that looks like. I'm going to finish off with the lips now. Um, well, I should do highlight. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to use a newer highlight. This is the e.l.f. highlight. I did a test it out and talk about video on this, actually. If you guys do want to see that, I will have it linked below for you guys. And this is in Moonlight Pearls. So I'm just going to uh, take my fan brush from Morphe and coat that. That highlight is so pretty. It's super subtle. So if you're into subtle highlights, then definitely check them out. Um, I'm going to highlight a little bit on my nose. So now onto lips. I'm going to go in with the NYX lip liner in Nude Beige. The NYX lip liners are so, so nice. Next, I'm going to go in and I'm going to be using, since I have such a bold eye look, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Katsu Liquid Lipstick in, this is in Nudie Patootie. So that's what that one looks like. It's just a nude liquid lip. I love this lip so much. It's kind of like a brownie nude. I love this shade so... I love it. I love this shade so much. So, my final thoughts on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation is I think it's a really, really good foundation. It's just that I got the wrong shade so I'm definitely going to take this back and maybe get a lighter shade well yes I'm going to get a lighter shade but um like for the most part I love how this looks on my face it looks so good um in camera it looks really really nice so in video I think it totally looks really really nice um and I'm definitely going to be taking photos, so we're going to put this Photo Focus foundation to the test and see how that looks. So I give this foundation a definite huge thumbs up. I think this is a really, really nice foundation, as well as the price for it. I think I paid like $5, and you can't beat that. I mean, Wet n Wild is coming out with really, really nice things. Um you know, for super affordable. So I really enjoyed this foundation and I hope you guys enjoyed this test it out and talk about video. If you guys have anything else you guys want me to test it out and talk about, then let me know in the comments below. If you guys do want to see this eye look, then stay tuned and subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All those are at TobinMUA. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.